This is what a real whole sable fish looks like. So I've, this one I've taken uh, the guts out and I've scaled it. Now, this, in my opinion, is one of the best parts of the sable fish. These are the uh, collars. There's a high demand for them, so they sell them separately from, from the whole fish. Hello, everyone. We have a very special dinner. Come on in. Sable fish. Oh, Anna, Anna. This is great. Wow. Some roasted sable fish collars. I've just coated them with some smoked paprika, sumac, some seaweed, some salt, roasted it. Okay. Now, just be careful. I got some sauce dripping there. there. So what we have, which you guys are all familiar with, is some roasted sable fish collars. So the second course is going to be uh, soba dashi, or a da it's a dashi broth with soy and uh, mirin in it. Uh, and we're just going to garnish the bowls with some uh, sable candy, which is phenomenal. Some uh, cooked daikon, a little bit of sesame seed oil, some green onions, some seaweed, and some roasted smoked sable fish. Okay, so we're just we're plating up the, the soup, the dashi. I purposely overcooked it a bit. The candy is going to be the melt in your mouth. The roasted one should be a bit more texture, a bit more mouthfeel because it's a soup. Now with sable fish, it has a, a, a row of bones running down the center. In a salmon, that would be called pin bones. But for sable fish, they're not pin bones. They're, they're hooked to the skin, so they're impossible to remove uh, while the fish is uh, raw. So we have one or two choices. I prefer to cook it with the bone in, but if you're buying this in, in, a, in a fishmonger, they may very well have taken the bones out for you. But once the fish is cooked, these bones kind of pop up and they remove quite easily. So that's how I prefer to do it. And so what we have here is just, it's a tomato base. It's just with peppers, onions, and fennel. So what we're doing here now is, so this is just like a pepper knot or something. It's peppers, tomatoes, fennel, onions. I've added some uh, mackerel kelps, and this is just the, the garnish for uh, our sable fish dish. The skin is perfect on this one. So why we're pulling the skin back a little bit is because I've purposely left uh, the bones in. So I want that to be very easy for the dining guests to, uh, to split the fish and see the bones. Please enjoy, dig in, and uh, thank you so much for entertaining me this afternoon. Wow. Chef. Robert, thank wow. You. Yeah, thank you. Thank you, Chef.